Before describing node voltage analysis, let me just make a couple comments. We note that in every circuit analysis, the foundation to analyze any circuits is the connection constraints or Kirchhoff voltage laws and current laws, device constraints such as IV relationships of the various electrical elements. However, when you, we do this technique of element constraints and connection constraints, this involves a lot of equations and a lot of unknowns. So node voltage analysis is used to help reduce the number of equations. However, we should not abandon the idea of connection constraints as well as device constraints. All that node voltage analysis does, does for us, as well as mesh analysis, is to help reduce the number of equations. Now let's go through some uh, notation. Here we have a circuit with some devices and we have basically four nodes and what I labeled here is node voltage at A, node voltage at B, and node voltage C. In here I label a ground reference point and we always note that the ground reference point is always like zero volts. And how do you choose that? Ground reference points? Well, it depends on you. But basically, you try to see where most of the devices are connected. And if a node such as this has a lot of electrical devices connected to it, we usually label it as the uh, reference node. And again, the reference node is usually zero volts. So here we have node voltage A and voltage B. And let's say this is device 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Now we want to find the voltage across, let's say, element 2. Well, the voltage across element 2 will say V2, and this is our reference point plus and minus in terms of our polarities. Then V2 has a voltage across that element. 2 is VA minus VB. Well, what about the voltage across V1? Well, V1 has a node voltage of VA minus zero because the other side of this node is a ground point or reference point of zero volts. And then V3, we have VB minus zero or simply VB. And here for V1, we have simply VA. Now VC minus, I mean VB minus VC, so voltage across V4, again it takes two points. We'll choose this as a higher voltage and this is the lower voltage, as well as for device 5 and uh, where we have the polarities of plus and minus associated with that. So V4 again, we see that it's VB minus VC, and then for V5, voltage V5, that's just VC minus zero or zero uh, VB. VC. So that's how you look at the node voltage analysis is you take your uh, label your voltages at the various nodes. Now if V1 let's say is a voltage source then VA is simply equal to Vs. Alright, so again our reference node we choose where all the elements are connected to it and therefore we label that as has a reference voltage of zero volts. And then to find the element voltages across the various devices we just take the difference between those voltage points between the plus and the minus polarities. Now the di diagram in the right shown here is just a relabeling of the circuit just to show you that the voltage at VA is with respect to this ground point, voltage VB is with respect to this ground point, and voltage VC is with respect to this ground point. Again, it takes two voltages to represent a voltage across an element. And we see here device 1 3 and 5 is connected to this ground point we call 0 volts which is our reference point. So this is just our interpretation this diagram right here is just our interpretation of this circuit. 
when using node voltage analysis I need to make a couple statements at the outset and that is when you find a voltage V1 which is associated with a device 1 and when we use node voltage analysis there's only two possibilities here in this first case we have let's say we want to find the voltage V1 across device 1 so V1 in this case would just be simply V1 equals to VA at one end of the device and then the other end is connected to a reference point or zero volts and in this case V1 is just simply equal to VA alright so that's when you have a device it's connected to some node in the circuit and the other end of the node other end of the device is a node that's connected to the reference point which represents our zero volts. Now here's a second case in which our device is not connected to the reference point but is connected to two nodes in the circuit that's called no at node A and at node B. Now the voltage across this element V1 is just simply the difference between these two volts and we start off with the plus and then subtract it with uh, the minus voltage. So here V1 is just simply equal to VA because it's connected to the positive polarity as we label it minus VB and that's how we define our voltages using the node voltages across the device so our voltage V1 across the device is defined in terms of our node voltages so these are just our two possible cases. Now let's do an example of node voltage analysis. Here we're given a circuit containing five devices. Our reference point is defined here and we note our reference point is defined as zero volts, our reference node. And then we're given nodes A, B, and C. And VA is given as five volts. VB is given as 10 volts and VC is given as minus 3 volts and we're asked to find the element voltages for all five devices so we have V1, V2, V3, V4 and V5 and we want to find the voltages across each of these devices so we'll start off with V1 with the plus reference. The plus reference polarity is given as VB and the minus N of V1 is connected to zero. So the difference between VB and zero is just simply VB. So remember when we want to find the voltage across device one it's just the voltage difference between the two nodes. One of the nodes is connected to VA and the other node is connected to a reference node or zero volts. Now let's do the same thing with V2. Start off with the positive polarity that's connected to zero volts and we're going to subtract VC but min VC is equal to minus three volts so it's zero minus minus three is equal to three volts. V3 we have VB minus VC so it's not connected to a reference node so here we start off with the positive polarity and the positive polarity is connected to node B so that's just voltage B minus VC but VB is given as 10 volts minus minus 3 again for VC and that's equal to 13 volts V4 is connected to VA at the positive polarity and the negative polarity is connected to VC minus VC so as VA is given as 5 volts minus minus 3 which is equal to 8 volts and then finally V5 the plus side is connected to VA and the negative side is connected to VB and we're given VA as 5 volts and VB as 10 volts or minus 10 volts is the difference between these two which is equal to minus 5 volts so that's how you do vol node voltage analysis associated with this circuit and that concludes this example